Hi everyone. So before I start my review, I just wanted to say that we have written a lot of letters, right? We have received a lot of letters. So these letters were written for a purpose and based on the purpose, the content varies. So today I'm going to speak about a few letters which are very unique and it stays relevant even though it was written 95 years ago. Good evening, respected sir and my dear friends. Today I am here to tell the review of the book Letters from a Father to His Daughter by Jawaharlal Nehru. So this book is a collection of letters written by the great first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, to his beloved daughter, the Iron Lady of India, sorry, India, Indira Gandhi. So this book was written in the year 1929 and was written in English, later published in Hindi by Munshi Premchand by the name Pitake Patra Putri Ke Naam. And later in 1931, Jawaharlal Nehru managed to uh, bring up the second edition of this book and later its further reprints were came out. So this book contains 30 letters. 30 letters which was written to Indira when she was just a 10 year old girl. She was in Missouri in 1928 and why at that time Jawaharlal Nehru was in jail, like in Ahmedabad, Naini jail. So this book is uh, even uh, before I said no, this book is so relevant. It's because it talks about a basic thing we all need to know. So this book, by writing this book or uh, these letters, Jawaharlal Nehru wanted to illuminate the outlook of the children towards the world they live in. So, by coming to the book, this book uh, has 30 letters with very beautiful headings like book of nature, bird day and like 28 more. So, by writing these letters, Indira Gandhi's uh, passion towards the nature or whatever things she sees in, uh, through her eyes has grown. So, Indira was a curious girl. She used to ask his father a lot of questions. So, uh, Indira Gandhi's father, Jawaharlal Nehru, found a way of communicating with her when they both were separated and he was in jail. So, from jail, he was allowed to write letters. So, he thought, why not, I can write a letter to her to make her understand about the world they live in. So, through these letters, he takes his daughter towards the beautiful world we live in. So, when I am saying about the first book, that is the book of the nature, in this book, he talks about solar system. He says that the sun, the planets and the satellites that are around them make a beautiful happy family that is the solar system. He talks about how our earth evolved that it was evolved millions of years ago with nothing and after before human beings there were animals and before animals there were nothing. So he was asking her to just imagine a world without whatever we see today just imagine all these God and in this book he talks more about the discoveries we have made like we have gone so far so the discoveries we had made and later he talks about the nature like nature consists of everything the rivers like everything so when he talks about uh, each and every particular details he says to her that just take a stone we see stones everywhere so what if they are the pages of nature's book and what if each stone has something to tell but the only problem is we should know how to read it and he even tell her that when we see a stone we can see stones are so smooth and shiny and when we break a stone we can see its edges and they have sharp edges why is this he asks her and he says that one day or once upon a time that stone was broken and it was sharp and it was carried by rain and it was dropped into a river. A small river to a large river which was the stone was kept under the bed and later it was washed with water very nicely which made it a smooth and shiny surface. So like everything we take everything we, they have a story to tell. He talks about the races, the civilization that has walked on earth the evolution that had happened. When men and women came together, there were cities. And before cities, they used to wander everywhere they could find. They don't know how to cook food. They, they learn how to cook food. And he tells her that why age was called Stone Age because 
whatever things they used was made using stones. So this is basically in his first letter, Book of Nature. And in his next one is like humankind. Humankind, he basically talks about human beings. And he, he even tells that there is no basically a difference between a human without an intelligence and an animal. He talks about how we all evolved from the apes and chimpanzees and how we should be respectful to them. He even talks her, uh, about the color of people and he doesn't discriminate it. He says it in a very beautiful way because the color that the people have is the result of the climate they live in. And they, they, they doesn't have anything to do with the looks they have, the prettiness they have. And later, he talks about Aryans. What, who were Aryans? How they worship the cows and what they used and what was their living things. Then he talks about the fossil fuels and ruins. He talks about all the voyages we all had did. How far we have came across in, as in technologies. How uh, right now what is currently happening like war, politics and whatever, he feels his daughter should know. And later on her 13th birthday, he tells her that, I know you used to get a lot of letters and presents every year, but since I am not here with you, I wish I could give you letters, but I am not able to give. So today I am showering you with all the spiritual and mental things I can give you instead of all these uh, the presence and he even tells her that you should always understand what is happening around us and we all should be respectful towards each other he is definitely a passionate father who wants his daughter to know everything that is happening around her and he even tells her that uh, i am afraid that i could only say a very little through my letters because letters are limited so he even tells her that uh, but I think even this little will help you know the world as a whole and which helps you understand all are our brothers and sisters. It's a quite a priceless collection of 30 letters because it was written from one leader to another. I suggest all to read this book. This is because uh, it's written in so simple language or we will, we will have an eagerness to read everything. So I would like to conclude my review by saying a quote from this book. Like This book has a lot of quotes, but I like the quote very much, so I am taking it to conclude. Where there is good, oh sorry, take the good wherever it can be and remove the bad wherever it is. Thank you.